How are you going there? It's Pat Mannix from Paris Financial, the small business tax champions, and uh, we're obviously focused on small business tax, but uh, we really uh, like dealing with small business, and of course with small business, you're dealing with all of those five facets that the small business people have to cover off on it, and that's marketing, operations, human resources, innovation, and of course, financial. And all of those five things in one person is really difficult to uh, have, and so sometimes you need a little bit of help. We obviously help on tax, but we've had a fella who's uh, added a lot to our business, specifically in this uh, new client process, and that's uh, Darren Reddy, and Darren is a business coach, and we're a big believer in business coaches cutting it at the right time of growing small businesses and giving them some added value, and actually, he's right here. Welcome, Daz. Thanks for having How are you, mate? Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. welcome. I'm welcome. glad the uh, new client process is going well for you. It is, yeah, yeah. We've done a, a great job with Daz, and he's done a fantastic job with us, us just uh, adding an area of our business which um, we were pretty weak in. So. Um, Darren, let's just start off, mate, with what is a business coach? Look, a lot of people ask me what, what actually a business coach does. So look, the way I explain it is, um, I really, the first thing we do is we help small business um, clear the fog. Often it's pretty hard uh, when businesses are, are walking around to be efficient um, if they actually don't know where they're going. Yeah. So we help them clear that fog, create a clear direction for their business, and then we get on with growing their profits. Okay, good, Daz, and who do you do this sort of stuff for? What sort of small so, businesses? It's amazing the amount of businesses we do it for, really from you know, quite medium-sized manufacturing businesses all the way through doctors, um, insurance people, and recently I'm just doing uh, for cafes um, okay. in, in the city. So there's, there's, no, um, there's, there's no restriction on the type of business that we can actually help grow. Um, really, there's... There's three things that, if these are the things that you um, have got in your business, um, if you've got a lack of time to improve your, your business, um, you've got trouble attracting the right people or keeping the right people, and your profits have just been stagnant for many years yep. or just go up and down, yep. then chances are you, it's worth a chat. Yeah, okay, yeah. and how do, you, yeah. how do you do it? What do you, what do, you do, mate? Do you get out on site, or how do you yeah. actually do this with small business? Yeah, definitely, must, <laughs> must get out and see the business. Um, I'm always out there on site because I need to um, understand the business. Yep. Um, so, and there's really five or six key building blocks that I focus on. Yeah, and, so what um, are they? Go so those five. The first thing is one-page plans. Yep. Um, so 12-month plans, 90-day plans, and broken that into weekly focus sheets. Mm -hmm. So that's what, creates that clarity and a clear direction for your business. Yep. Um, know your numbers, which obviously you know uh, very well. You've got to understand the numbers in your business. Yep, that's the um, second one, the third one. Uh, people accountability. Yep. So we need to get the right people in the right role. Yep. So once we've got the foundation blocks in there, then you can look at growth type stuff, which is more your understanding sales, effective marketing techniques, um, that yeah, that type of thing. And then so the, that's your fourth, and then what's your fifth? Well, the fifth is the is, is sort of the market and sales, and then the final um, cherry on top is strong leadership. Okay. And um, yeah, no business can rise above the constraints of its leaders, and yeah. um, so we really need good leaders in every area of your business um, in order to grow your people. I often say that you can't grow your business uh, without growing your people, yeah. um, and that means that you need to start thinking a little bit differently yeah. um, in your business, and um, and that's the that's the cherry on top. Yeah, that's brilliant, Daz. And look, um, you know that leadership Darren's talking about there is huge these days. Um, you know, leadership of an organisation, and then getting your your people right, um, looking after your people is is big. And when Darren came to us, you know, we had a lot of areas covered in our business, but none of us here, <coughs> being accountants mainly have had uh, much new client training. So Darren did a great job with us and put in a whole process, which uh, I just couldn't believe how long it took to get that right, but it's really working well for us. So yeah, we've been great. wrapped in what Darren's done. Business coach being, can be a real key to you and your growing small business. Um, if you want to have a chat to Daz, talk to me first and we'll refer you on. And thanks, mate, for yeah, coming in Pat. Good on you. and talking Thank about you. a business coach. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.